सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू एच एस अकेडमी सो गाइज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हैज अ ट्राइंगल ओके यू मे बी नोइंग अबाउट फायर ट्राइंगल फायर टेट्रा हिडन ऑन ऑल बट इट्स टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हैज अ ट्राइंगल ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टार्ट विद द हैज एड एंड वॉट इज एक्चुअली अ हैज एड एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल गो टू दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट इफ यू आर लर्निंग अबाउट द सिस्टम सेफ्टी एज वेल एज द प्रोसेस सेफ्टी देन दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट बिकम वेरी क्रूशल बिकॉज इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट Okay, so first of all, what is the meaning of hazard? So see, guys, anything in your workplace, it may be anything, place in your workplace and have the potential to cause harm. For example, I am a hazard. Why means I have the potential to cause you harm? Just for example, okay, I have the potential to cause harm. How means if I have this hand, if I uh, beat to you, this will be a harm. No, so like that, anything in your workplace, it may be your pen, it may be this kada, it may be this particular ring. it may be your pen it may be your knife it may be anything in your workplace which have the potential to cause harm it is called a hazard okay guys now but we, when we talk about this existence of, of this hazard it means what are all the factors that will be present in a place that will cause a hazard like for example heat fuel and oxygen should be present in the sufficient ratio to cause the fire to initiate the fire likewise three mechanism are there three elements are there okay which should be present at a time to cause a hazard to cause a hazard to exist in a place okay but it doesn't require any specific ratio or any, any specific quantity but it should be present okay so these three elements are first of all initiating mechanism hazards element and tt target and threat okay again i am repeating that h e hazardous element i m initiating mechanism and tt that is your target threat Okay, now we will discuss one by one what is the meaning of that. So, see, guys, first of all, hazardous element within any system, always there will be one element that is causing the hazard in actual. Okay, guys. Now, for example, I will take my example for my body example. As I told you, uh, I am also hazard for you. If you touch me, if you just uh, uh, what you can t- uh, tell beating me means I will also beat you. That's a natural phenomena between humans. Okay, when we understand about the hazardous element. it means inside me what is the hazardous element my soul this is full of system my body is a system okay but until and unless it have a soul it means inside if there is a no soul means how i will work my system will be totally dead okay the soul is required first of all within an, any system for example if any process system is there okay which is just, uh, doing any sort of hazardous process so inside that particular process system there will be some hazardous element for example in the chemical refineries or you can tell in the petroleum refineries what is the hazardous product oil products crude oil products sometime crude oil will be flowing if that come outside means it can lead to a fire and explosion sometimes there sh- uh, there will be any naphtha any lpg and all okay so this will be called as hazardous element any element within a system within any complex system which have the potential to cause harm that will be called as hazardous element now when we come to the second point guys that will be called as your initiating mechanism initiating mechanism it means what are the things that are just initiating the hazard for example see again i will take my body example now i'm okay i'm just talking to you interacting with you with the concept of hazard triangle now suddenly you will come in front of me and you will beat me okay now as a human you are also a human and i also i am also a human so i have the tendency that i will reply for that okay so you are the initiating mechanism for me you came and beat me that is the initiating mechanism directly my mind will tell yeah that guy beat you now give the reverse action to him okay so that is called a reverse action now if i take this particular practical example into a process system so it will be it may be include your pressure it may be include your uh, particular exposure to the high temperatures and all okay it means those are the factors those who are causing the hazard to initiate for example again second example a wire is there electrical wire inside that current is flowing now current what is that that is called hazardous element if current is not there means wire have no purpose no you can tell uh, you can touch that you can eat that that is a no problem but until and unless current is not there it is safe but when the current comes inside that is unsafe now what is the meaning of initiating mechanism inside that insulation removal if insulation is not present if the conductors inside that particular wires are exposed to the external environment that will be called as initiating mechanism when we come to the third part that is your target and threat it means the person who is going to be affected by that for example in a process industries what are the targets and threat 
it may be your environment and it may be the labors as well as the employees those who are working in an industry that will be called as target and threat okay so that is the basically meaning of that now guys frequently if we reduce one of the size one of the sides from the triangle the hazard will not exist generally if i talk to you about if you reduce the initiating mechanism side from the that particular hazard triangle then your probability of hazard occurrence will be reduced the initiating mechanism side that is called im side if you reduce that the probability of hazard occurrence it means hazard will not occur frequently it will occur but a very you can say very frequent frequently it will not occur when we talk about the two other factors that is your hazardous element and target and threat if you reduce that if you reduce these two factors then your severity will be reduced it means injury level sometimes you will get first aid injury sometimes very minor injury cuts and all different things okay if you are reducing hazardous element as well as target threat your severity will be reduced if you are reducing the initiating mechanism that your will probability will be reduced okay so that is the meaning of that but guys in general terms actually we are using three more words to define that hazard triangle okay sometimes they are interchangeably changeably used first of all source is there okay now source means what source means basically your person who is going to be affected afterwards your mechanism will be there mechanism means initiating mechanism okay afterwards third one is also there that is called element element means hazardous element they are using it means sometimes they are interchangeably using these words so make sure that you should understand these three words also and second three words also okay i hope you understood that the concept of hazard triangle just keep in mind because when we are talking about the process safety and system safety it becomes very important to know about that okay and uh, as you know that as i told you about lot of concepts and said that so try to remember that guys it is going to be useful for you okay guys so this is the end of the video if you like this video press the like button as well as here if you have any doubts it may be happen so you can put them in comment box i'll be happy to answer you okay so till then take care of yourself meet you in the next video bye